Hey everyone, Ken McKee here with Canopy Mortgage. Hey, I get this every day. Um, people are asking me like, how much money do I have to save for a down payment? Or maybe they've heard that they have to put 20% down or 10% down or something like that. I was reading a cool article this morning um, on uh, CNBC. 48% of renters worry they won't be able to buy a home uh, in a survey that was conducted by LendingTree. Uh, what's interesting is that uh, millennials and Gen Xers uh, 55% of Gen Xers, which I think is my age because I'm almost 50 years old, and 52% of millennial renters worry about their prospects of home ownership. So the question I get is, all, is, is, should I save for a down payment? Should I wait? Should I buy now or should I wait and save money for a down payment? So I'm a big, I'm a scientist. I was a biology chemistry major in college, and so I love empirical data. So I want to share, you, share with you some, some, some concepts or some thoughts and some data to support why maybe it would be better to buy now, even if you have to have the dreaded mortgage insurance, which isn't so dreaded. So, okay, so here's a real quick. From, this is from the uh, St. Louis Fed, and it's Freddie Mac, 30-year fixed rate mortgage average in the U.S. Usually there's about a 0.3 or 0.6 of a point to get the rates that they're showing today. Today they're showing, if you look on the, on the bottom right, they're showing... Uh, today, as of September the 9th, 2.88%. And I think that was with like 0.4 of a point average. So I want to show you this on a $400,000 purchase. What would it look like if you bought now versus if you uh, waited a year? And then what if it looked like uh, after two years? And they'll say, I'm going to use 8% appreciation and I'm going to use the same rate as this today. So I'm just going to use across the board 2.99%. And now, 8% appreciation. Is that historical average? No. But has the last year been average? No. We've seen in our areas dip somewhere between 18 and 23% in the different areas around Yolo, Placer, Sacramento, El Dorado counties. And nationwide, year over year, we're up 18%. So while 8% is not exactly normal, it's more like 6% in the, in the history of California uh, let's just use 8% for the next couple of years. There's a lot of factors, I think, that would support that. But it's, again, my personal opinion. I'm not telling you exactly where it's going to be. So if you waited a year, your, your, your home is going to be worth 432 instead of 400000 So it's gone up 8%. If you wait another year, it's going to be 466000 So here's my question. like, Can you save $32,000? You know, in a year, if you can't, you're losing to appreciation and you're losing out on appreciation. What I mean by losing to appreciation is you're not even keeping up with what, how much homes are going to cost. So why would you wait, right? So even if rates stayed the same, which again, it's my opinion, they're not going to stay the same. If you look at Freddie Mac's chart, we're at almost historical lows. Historical lows were last year, sometime in December, 2.71%. And, but we went up a little bit this year, and now we're back down at 2.88. So bottom line is, you, you know, I do, you look at the, at the graph and tell me, do you think that we have more of a probability of going up or going down? And I think we would agree that you'd have more of an opportunity or probability for going up. So, so going back to the graph, like if you, or going back to my analysis, if you look at this in a year, you're still staying at 2.99%, but your loan is going up, you know, by almost $32,000, right? And your payment goes up to 20, from twenty two fifty four to twenty four twenty eight. Your down payment is roughly the same because you're only putting three and a half percent down. So it kind of doesn't matter. You don't need to save for more of a payment. So this is with a three percent down uh, conventional loan with perfect credit. I'm talking like seven sixty plus credit. But this is for a three uh, percent down loan, four hundred thousand dollars. You don't have to bring a whole lot of money. You got to bring twelve thousand down, and you you know have closing costs. But if you wait a year, and I'm just going up the notes that I made, you have $175 higher payment. If you wait two years and the rates stay the same and we have 8% appreciation, your payments can be $363 higher, right? So, and that's simply by your just bottom line is all you're doing is you're, you're waiting and, and, and homes are going up in value. So here's what would it look like if we had 8% appreciation and a 1% rate increase, right? So then you go same, same $32,000 higher, but you go from 2.99 to 3.99. I'll give you a dollar uh, if you can email me or text me. My number is 871-757. I'll give you a dollar if you text me with an accurate range of what rates got to in 2018. It'll blow your mind. Because I think we're all used to sub-3% rates. 
And, and if you can give me uh, the accurate range of where rates got to at the end of 2018, I'll give you a buck. Uh, but you gotta, you got to text me. Okay, um, or call me. Same number, 916-871-7578. So what if it goes to 3.99%? Your payment goes from 2254 to, to 260, uh, 2662. And if you wait two years and it goes up, and it still stays at 3.99, but it increases to uh, you know eight percent a year um, in, in appreciation, the value of the home. You're at 28.69. So after one year, your your rate is 408 dollars higher than it would be if you just bought now. Uh, and, and look, your cash at close is almost the same, so you don't really need to save much more money. Uh, you really shouldn't wait. And then 615 uh, bucks if you wait two years, it'll be 28.69 instead of 22.54. So bottom line is, my opinion, and it's my opinion only, you shouldn't wait. You should buy now. Are homes more costly than were last year? Yes. Are they going to be more costly next year and the year after? Yes. Buy now. Uh, enjoy the appreciation. Enjoy your home. And bottom line is, uh, rates have a good possibility of going up a lot more than 1% in the next two years. So hope that helps you guys. If you want to share this with a friend, please do. Uh, please give us a call if we can help you get pre-approved. Hey, look, where are you going to get the money if you don't have it? There's a lot of, a lot of ways you can get money these days. You can borrow from a 401k. You can pull money out of an IRA. You can call your grandma, mom, dad, uncle, brother, sister, son, daughter, and ask them for a gift. And, and you know, this didn't happen in Louisiana. I grew up in rural Louisiana. There was no massive intergenerational wealth transfer. But in California, where we have relatives that bought their home for like $70,000 in 1970, uh, now it's worth a million. There are people, realistically, this is a real conversation that we have every day. There are people and, and family members that want to gift you money, and you just haven't asked them. So if you know someone that maybe hasn't, and they want to buy a home, we can help them get in the, in the, um, you know, in, into home ownership, and we love doing it. We love helping first-time home buyers. So give us a call, 916-871-7578. Take care. Bye. Share this with somebody. Please. See ya.